doesn't that Bailey look good? And of course, like most modern caravans, you can take them away in the winter because the heaters are so efficient. But you might not have time to go away in the winter, in which case you have to put a caravan into storage. And that's what we'll look at now. The first point to bear in mind is that try to avoid trees. This one's not too close, but if it was closer, once you've left the caravan, you'd find it in the springtime covered in green. Then, chock the wheels. You can buy chocks in a dealer's, some people make their own. Drop the corner steadies, and now, as long as it's on level ground, we can go back to the handbrake and we can actually put it right off. And there's no risk at all of the brakes seizing up over the winter. While we're here, there's another little task. Plugs, one or two. Get a, an inhibiting moisture product. Just a couple of squirts. That'll last for two or three months. Let's move on and have a look at the gas cylinders. Should you take them out or should you leave them in? That's up to you. It's a matter of choice and sometimes in areas where they have firework displays, it might be better to take them out and put them somewhere safe and appropriate at home in case a wayward rocket lands on the roof. I want to look at the battery because people see these as fit and forget accessories. And if you leave a battery and it discharges and you don't recharge it straight away, it'll be ruined the following spring. I think you'll find Andy Harris is going to discuss battery chargers in one of the motorhome channels. Now look, we're running out of time and I want to get to the toilet. Ah, now the caravan toilet's here on this van and it's easy to lift out. Uh, the first thing we need to check is this part here. This is the stuff that you can buy in the shops to spray on here so that it lubricates that nicely. If you don't want to buy that, nip in the kitchen and pinch the olive oil. Don't use any other kind of grease though. Lubricate that, check it opens and closes, slide it back in and then we've got one more thing to do from inside the caravan itself. Now we must leave this open for the whole of the storage period so it never sticks to the rubber. Let's go into the kitchen. Now of course you're going to leave your fridge nice and clean if things are going into store and when you bring the door here you don't want the magnet to close it completely and most appliances do have a little mechanism for just holding the door ajar. Well now we'll have a look at the water system because frozen pipes are a worry. Tap first of all, make sure that this is open, always open taps whatever the type. This one the lever is lifted and keep it right in the centre midway between hot and cold. Now if you've got one of these taste cartridge filters, remove it because there's water still left in there and that'll freeze too. And then finally you get smells in caravans sometimes over the winter and that's because smells are coming up to the waste pipes. So make sure you've got uh, plugs and this one here goes into the sink. Now staying on the theme of water we're going to have a look at the water heater because it's vital that that is drained down when there's frost just around the corner. And on this caravan it's situated under this seat. It's very easy to see the yellow lever that you release and once that's done all the water drains out and there's no problem from frost. Now we're going to have a look at the blinds because this raises several issues. In storage people are likely to have the blind down. But unfortunately that leaves the spring in the roller under tension and it might need readjusting later. The alternative of course is to take it up and then people can peep in but at least at least you can draw the curtains and that makes sure that the sun doesn't uh, cause this to fade. Better still though you know is to take these items into your house if you've got spare room space. The whole thing isn't spoilt by the sun and no one is going to steal a caravan if it's bereft of the upholstery. Bye bye caravan, have a nice Christmas, see you next spring. But for us at the moment, we're joining Claire Kelly, who is caravanning in the Lake District.